being able to use hydrogen for symptoms that you experienced before? Well, basically, anytime I would eat food, that would just cause systemic pain. Typically related with carbohydrates, which just caused more of an inflammatory reaction. Right. And it was getting worse and worse, and it got to the point where I couldn't even walk. So you had a restricted food list, and even though you, you had a restricted list, you still had the inflammatory reaction? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so how did hydrogen change, or does hydrogen change that? It does change that, because now, I mean, I went to the extreme. I kind of cut everything out and went absolute bare bone basics, and then I'm starting building things up. I wouldn't be able to add back in carbohydrates or rice or fruits and things without being on the hydrogen machine. That's, That's the difference because today I had a bowl of rice mm. and I was like, straight Woo! carbs. Straight carbs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's and pure, pure metabolic sugar. It, it was. And there was a little bit of a reaction, but I walked through it and we're good. And I, I have some energy and I can do things that would not be the case prior to being on hydrogen. Right. And in addition to that, there's another thing, is um, being able to uh, handle temperature change. One of the biggest things that went along with just some of the issues I faced with my health yeah. is a temperature shift from more hot, cold, whatever. Cause your body to spike in inflammation. Massive. And, and, it, and you have vasodilation. Correct. Okay. It got to the point where like my feet would be cherry red, I had a thermometer, you could cook it up it was anywhere from five to seven degrees Fahrenheit hotter than the rest of my body. Yeah, yeah. Significant amount of energy. It was horrible. Today, I was out in the heat working and I felt all right. That's the first time in years that I've been able to like take hot. some temperature change. Yeah. It was humid too, like after the, the mm -hmm. rain too. So what would you tell if, if somebody was saying, um, what, what does hydrogen do? Um, for somebody who has inflammation or, you know, like a systemic problem, what, what thing would you tell them that it does the most for you? I think, personally, just from my own experience, what hydrogen is doing is it is triggering my body to heal itself. Like, my body is now, instead of wasting a ton of energy, burning up my hands, you know, getting the balloon hands and the balloon's feet. I mean, it got to the point where I literally couldn't walk out to throw my shoes off and sit down. Yeah. But the body is triggering a healing response, so it's correctly taking the, the sugar into the cells instead of just letting it sit in the blood. Yeah. It's dealing with that, and I think it's, it's causing your body to heal at a cellular level, mm -hmm. freeing up more energy um, to do things to be more active physically and mentally as well. And you have a, a background in general science, right? Yeah, biology. Okay, so Correct. it makes sense somewhat that the first element in nature might possibly feed all the others. It, it makes sense from a cellu cellular level because of all of the transfer of electrons in your cell to yeah. run cellular functions. So at the tiny little machines in the cell, they this is their fuel. Like we say ATP, well, what is ATP? It's a carrier. Yeah. For and it's trading electric it's trading the different the different atoms and you need hydrogen to make all that function yep. to carry the electrons so from, from the internal product even to uh, rocket fuel yeah it's hydrogen that's that's powering that's great i appreciate you yeah absolutely